It is the 14th day of September. We are just a few minutes past the top of the hour. That's around 9.16 like this. We're feeling good and we are feeling grateful to be six feet above the ground. So apparently we had a very interesting conversation with Stephanie and her guest. Miss G, come on, Ajua, like I'm going to pay content for the next conversation. Yes, should I tell you what we're talking about? Today, we are asking, let me read it for you verbatim. Dun, 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 dun. Did I tell you you can find us at White Five on Facebook, White Two Five Four channel on Twitter, White Five Four underscore channel on the gram. So we are asking, how do you know you have a player? Yeah, we kwa nyumba yake ukajua we. Wait, wait, wait. Nairobi, hey, like that. That's what I'm basically talking about. Hashtag is why in the morning. Now, before we get to any details or as I get into the social media platforms, watch out my panelists say hi. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi. Beautiful ladies, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Yes, you know, I'm glad you know you're beautiful. Let, let <laughs> me start with you. Please do tell the people who you are and how we can find you on social media. Hello, my name is Cecilia Mbove. I'm a communication student at Daystar. You can find me on Instagram at Katunga with an H and three underscores. Facebook at Cecil Mbove. Twitter at Katunga. Mm -hmm. And you, baby? Uh, I'm Barbara Kavata. I'm a student at KCA. I do take economics and statistics. Uh, my social media platforms are Cucumber, Q for Q U E for a queen. <laughs> <laughs> then dot Kamba, yeah, Mkamba dot underscore your Instagram, uh, Facebook African Cucumber again, and uh, on Twitter at Babs Kavara. Yeah, no, no, jite maembe. Cucumber. Cucumber. Okay, I, I hear it has a cooling effect. I'm, I'm not too sure how that goes. All right, so before we get to the topic of the day, and uh, uh, the, the question is, ni nini uliona kwa nyumbaki ukajua mko wengi? Yeah, mm hmm Na siate employees, tafadhali. Thank you. We are talking about also the inauguration that happened yesterday, and it is the second... Um, batch after the 2010 constitution was about 12 years ago and I have things to say. Let's start with Uncle Rigiji. First of all, all the meme lords of Kenya, good morning and good morning to you alone. I like your quickness. What stood out for you during the inauguration yesterday? Uh, touching on Rigiji, mm -hmm. uh, I was happy and uh, also a little bit confused because <laughs> the world out there is watching us mm -hmm. <laughs> and they'll be like eh, this is kenya yeah, he went and all out. Uh, mm -hmm. i felt like he's such a comedian mm -hmm. a good one mm -hmm. so we're gonna get content for the next five years hey, a good top content. tier <laughs> top tier content man <laughs> you're a good man <laughs> sorry hey what did you get from the inauguration from the inauguration i actually loved how the wives of the president and the deputy president were so happy, they looked so content and full of happiness for their husbands. Mm -hmm. You could just see the smiles and that made me feel good about it. Did you see the sis with the wig? Yeah. The pastor. Guys, that wig <laughs> is not small, small money. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Nenda church gani niombe ndo nipate pesa baya kama hiyo. And nani aliwaambia first ladies wa kuwa na nywele fupi ama it's requirement. Yeah. Same. Hi, anyway, hashtag is why in the morning. I I quite enjoyed myself quite. But also I've been quite obsessed with the news tangu hizi vitu zitoke from from before the debates all the way to the Supreme Court and till yesterday when we capped it all off. And we got to see a couple of dignitaries heads of state and their representatives. And it was, it was nice, it was nice. I didn't know so many African countries understand Swahili. I thought it was just us. Na say I Swahili to be kupoa sana. So before I leave the conversation on the inauguration, let me just eh, talk about, let me read a couple of things over here. So another question we're asking, we'll leave what inauguration, Jana. And, uh, oh, love and talk, good morning. <laughs> Gerald Mbidi says, I was acting my comedy. <laughs> Nyagaka Clinton says, Kunawale 6.9 million to Lukwa USA. <laughs> okay, okay. Admin says Eric Momani. Mwana blue ni single. Ama ni wachi kierere, Steph. <laughs> Talk to me nice, uncle. Talk to me nice, the iron. Nilifuatilea, but nilikasirika. 
eh, that is um, Chelsea Stano. Odhiambo Brian says, who you are blue, nipewe tu namba yaki, ata kama ni ya kiatu. Oni za kiatu. Hey, nice. So good morning to be here on one morning, isn't it? All right, so to our question, and we will be relating with the previous conversation with Stephanie and her guest, like I said, because it's very, very relevant. So, watu wanasema waliona nini ndo wakajua wako wengi. Mm-hmm. Well, LG Kabori says, headgear na chupi, woy, sijawe recover. Imagine kwe na unapata vitu si zaako. That intimate. Ex wako leda, she says, nilipata bra na high heels, akasema na zivaga kingia TikTok. We? <laughs> 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 we, 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 okay, okay. Uh, Derek Shehe says, Jabba na Mr. Akanisho, <laughs> te alikuwa menenulia basta. We, oh. Alex Smith says, nilipata shati oversize ya black, akaniambia ati alinunua usiku. <laughs> ati alipa usiku, so kona jodi size. <laughs> Sorry. We, 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 we. All right, uh, we. <clears throat> Aya, no soft day and says, come on at Canilia, so we can to admin. We, Paul, bus. Aya, Jemo says, Nili Pata to brush that to Nikajua Kazi, po. Uwe, uwe. Blessed Moses says, Safari boot size number 12, better to maroon, Kikona change coat ya blue. Now, Kwani, Nendam Kizitafuta. Anyway, help me understand, guys. Let, let's just start with what is a player exactly? And how how do you feel or how do you sense you're being played? Na mkoshua wa mchezani pia na nyinyi but that's not wait. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. What do you think? Who do you think a player is? Uh, for me, I would say a player is somebody who's like trying to cover up his mess in a way that you not understand but you're gonna see some red flags mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for my case, I would say I'm skeptical about visiting people's houses because mm -hmm. um, the time I used to I went <laughs> I found that house is so clean uh, the beds are in white linen clothing mm -hmm. the the wardrobe is well arranged mm -hmm. I yawned and I'm like for a man to do all this I but they are very men with OCD levels mm. they can do that but mm. I felt like this one is a no because it was so tidy and uh, I felt that it's only kukua so idle for a man. <laughs> okay, and then first of all, he's shaven and mm -hmm. I'm seeing combs over there and I'm like, isn't it? An <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh -huh, talk to me, Sean. A player, I can just see. Men are players, not all. Mm -hmm. But even us, we're not nice. Yeah, we're not nice. Mm -hmm. But you know, a man, a man can come and, in the beginning, men are sweet. But when the relationship continues, mm -hmm. you will feel some change. Mm -hmm. Alafu, mm -hmm. to say me amenda a boys club, or amenda drinking and all, and then he comes all lovey dovey, et yo baby love you, tajwa tu yu through the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they come all like, they try like, you will see that no, this is not the man. Mm -hmm. Like there's something he's trying to hide, mm -hmm. and then always sneaky going to the washroom using the phone. Mm -hmm. That's some sneaky things to me. Mm. Nah, akuna room for overthinking. Like was trying to appear to never jump. Yeah, girls jump overthink jump actually. Jump into conclusion. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you know, you can't always overthink because you always have instincts. Mm -hmm. Trust your instincts always. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, <laughs> personally, I overthink a lot. So that day I went, uh, I was given this oversized tees. I was like, so you give all your ladies t-shirts? <laughs> mm -hmm. And I was like, sis, you're not alone. Valia too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At you're not alone? Yeah. <laughs> no, like, in my mind, I was like, why do you t-shirt in a piango to kill them too? Because you just can't give me that t-shirt. Oh. Umenta to mechagua specific. You could have told me chagua yenyo no ataka. See to 
you go and choose. So that is the one you give your ladies. No, 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 even us, no. At a t-shirt to Taja. Maybe ni yake ya kuka na yo sato. Ata iso zikini ni za job. Ojo wana umwa na kuwanga na nguwa tatu. No, let's just be reasonable. There's some dudes who just, the dressing is not a thing for them. Anava atu, ndo wa in the job. Yeah, lakini behind the scenes are kona pea mbili za viatu <laughs> and they're okay with it na hajam so why why would you assume immediately that that you know it's a nature for a lady to like jump into conclusions be jealous over small matters so you'll be like stu kama mbona i advert the first time i saw it i was so confused like we may over dramatize this situation so sure it gets into the house I love one and then for some reason it smells really nice. <laughs> Umeona, and then yeah. she goes looking for the, the, the other woman, yeah. the whole house. I love one shuka, I love one spray, we are now the, 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 the advertising air freshener. Yeah. Yeah. Advertising air freshener. <laughs> and then it ends with, I'm sorry babe. <laughs> I, I thought it was uh, over dramatized, but it is very possible that it could happen like mm. that. So maybe sister kia mekuja. And now please, remember I have been character developed. So we are starting from innocence and kabla tufikia guilty now. Yeah, so possibly cousin yake is, eh, kini cousin pia kabi wajiza asa metufunza vito. Hey, kaha suju ni to me example gani. Let's say some random, his, his boy's girl, they came together and, and kucha hake moje ikanguka kwa so, kwa so far. Then, wewe unenda kutafta remote na kutaha na kucha. World War Five. Tell me it's not the truth. Tell me. Hashtag wine morning. So what do you do then? Now kunata kumuliza eh inadu. For me, uh personally, um I get mad and uh I put it to myself mm -hmm. and uh, later I'll I'll look for a small mistake that you do and then I'll be on your case. Mm -hmm. Now I'll be like bringing everything. I'll be like on your case. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. and this is you either going to school or having a job or just doing something with your life. Like you just want to kill a kid on the home, but you're Yes. Ah, confidently. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, talk to me. Kucha, mm -hmm. umesema kucha ya boys ama ya cousin. Ah, si ni cousin ama angusha kucha. Ama angusha kucha. Stick on, zee. Yeah. Mm. So unenda tu napata na kucha ya mstana. And then what? Hana <laughs> fwako mbea ni house help. <laughs> Oh. That's the worst thing to do, to oh. tell me. How's help? How can a house help have nails? Ah, so maybe you slay. No? Mm. One, you shouldn't have a house slave that slays. Mm -hmm. That's cheating. Allah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Utakuwa tempted. Because mm. you know, this girl is so fine. Mm -hmm. A house help that slays. Mm -hmm. No, don't tell me that's your house help. Definitely I will overreact if I get the nail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What if your caretaker is handsome? Na tu kuja kiona boys Nani? Yeah, no, how do you deal with that? What if the shoe was on your foot, not his? Now what? You're free to answer also. Uh -huh. It's fine. Oh, for me, the caretaker situation mm -hmm. would be like so tricky because the fact that even in my building, I don't really talk. I don't want to be familiarized with my neighbors. Uh, you know, there's so much yeah. and neighbors, they want to visit you. And that time I want my personal space. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you can start a relationship. I love you. You know how apartments are. What mm -hmm. <laughs> Even your colleagues are. But I would rather uh, when I come home, I'm having like um, a safe space with me. Mm -hmm. I wanna relax. I wanna. You calm wanna down. tune out the world. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's that's allowed. As you come on in last week, I'm the week before that. We had a conversation. We we're trying to figure out if Kenyans actually go on dates. What's the worst experience you've had on a date? But it turns out people don't go out on dates. Nigama yeah. unapato wa tuko barabara, ehe, mm -hmm. unaka fiti, si tufanyi ile kitu. <laughs> the next thing unenda kwake. And we, we for, it's like we've forgotten or we don't quite understand that. Ah, tunezenda out, place kuna watu wengi. Yeah, we talk about things, if I see the way your mind is working, if it's compatible with mine. So, kama me skip phase ya kude, tuko shua unenda sema unachezwa. Uh, I would say because you decided 
from day one to accept the bare minimum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bare minimum. She is scared. My mom is going to be one day. We are talking about the machine. No way. You are so special. At her, when I was trying to make you shine, I remember you are the first. Uh huh. Tell me. Actually, actually, you know the top tier bare minimum because at that time you'll be feeling like you're the goat bay, but you're not the goat bay, you know other bays. Mm -hmm. So you just let's go out. I don't want to be enclosed somewhere. At if I, if I'm if you wanna see me at your place, I also have a place. So why don't you come and cage me at your place? Let's go out. Let's have something to do, an activity, dinner, or mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Personally, for me, my previous relationship, to say my nilko ni mefungiwa type of, I'm such a lover girl, mm -hmm. so I'll literally understand if you don't have money. Like in Lisama, because we had dated for like seven months, and then one day I asked him, why don't you go out, out, out on dates? Mm -hmm. And then he's like, Iti, oh, I don't like going to restaurants. Iti, oh, we can have our date in the house. I'm like, there's nothing as a date in the house. Hataki kuoneka na wepeli kamshana mwingine with his other girlfriends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. Right. This is this is information we're all learning. Remember the hashtag mm -hmm. this early morning. What is keeping a girl from having more than one boyfriend? Why is it so heinous that <laughs> a guy can have more than one, but a girl? Hamu amfikiri yama mnona ni kazi nyingi nama nini? Actually, for a girl to cheat, it's way easier. Yeah, but because why? girls don't change, men change. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, I feel like cheat is a very strong word because we yeah. to have a I don't have a ring. Never, never, oh, to <laughs> no, in fact, and and I want to take intimacy off the table. Mm -hmm. So we are not body to body currently. We are just talking, but some, again, like I said. A lot of the times we, we skip knowing each other, we start getting to know each other, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hashtag is one morning. So once we put intimacy aside, so I am not with a particular person like that. See one end auditions auditions Oh for me I would say that it's how the society makes a woman look like. Mm -hmm. a bad person when she goes out and uh, mm -hmm. uh, have the man that she desires yet she has another one. Mm -hmm. I feel like at the moment we need to accept the fact that I can go choose whoever I want. It's not a must that I wait to be chosen and the one whom I want or I'm with is not doing the doing things. I mean, mm -hmm. I can, if one is making you happy, you can also go for 10. Imagine 10, how would they make you feel? There's a meme. <laughs> that is a meme. That is such a meme. Hashtag why in the morning. All right, I want us to blend the conversation once again. Stephanie Etta had with her guest, and we put it together to form a whole story. So they were basically talking about disappointment, handling disappointment. And one of the things that came off is overconfidence. So sasa ni meskia ukisema good bay, you stay meskia, but what you try to me. So we come thinking good bay, the most beautiful person in the world, and please me, I'm, 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 i because Pia Uta did let her down telling yourself, oh no, I'm not worth it. No, you are worth it. You should be walking like the world belongs to you because you were created for a purpose. But when it comes to someone else's life and how they think about you, how do you deal with that overconfidence? Um, previously, uh, I had a relationship. I was so confident that I'm the bay, I'm what. Uh, months down the line, I realized that it is not what I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like girl, when do you have a relationship? Actually, mm -hmm. that is what I read through, and I was like, "That's bad." Cause in the beginning, if you know that you're gonna like waste my time, you have told me, uh, "Hi, like we're gonna have this and that. I have this person B in my life, so mm -hmm. you're just gonna come in, and uh, you have to learn to accommodate the person B." Mm -hmm. So for me, I, I was 
so down and I felt like I should not trust men let, because we're talking about men. Mm -hmm. I should not trust them that much until you tell me, hi, will you be my girlfriend? Is when I'm going to assume that you know my boyfriend. But at the moment, if you have not asked me to be your girlfriend, I'm not your girlfriend. I'll go out with whoever, whenever. Hey, but small <laughs> question can be asked to more than one girl. So he can be asking five of you, will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> International Boyfriend's Day. We one five girls. <laughs> Pussy one guy. <laughs> it's life no balance. But uh -huh, and then what? Yeah, he's very charming. Oh, will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> uh huh. Mm. Yes, if you ask me if I'll be your girlfriend, I would like say you've made an effort to recognize me as your bae. Mm -hmm. And um, forward moving forward I'll understand the fact that I have to act accordingly as your girlfriend because you pose a question and uh, I got a... So now you start behaving like his wife. Yeah, so that's when I get you with someone, you'll tell me, did you not ask me to be your girlfriend? Hey, do you think trusting too much is, is tied into overconfidence? Like, no, no, too. you've known them barely, 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 after so many years. You still don't even know your own siblings, maybe Pamoja forever. You probably don't even know your relatives like that now. What makes you think at Personally, I think trust is tied to overconfidence. Mm -hmm. Because uh, before you get into the relationship, be the detective of a relationship. Chunguza mm -hmm. Can you mean Askari? You have to. Girls are CDs, girls are detectives. You have to. <laughs> but it, it's your mental health I'll stick here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we keep your character development, it's a good thing. Yeah, because it's a good thing. You met this guy, I'm a good thing. I'm a good thing. I'm a good thing. I'm a good thing. Personally, it happened to me. Ah, ah. What happened? The previous relationship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> relationship. Uh, I met this guy on my birthday. Mm. Where? Yeah. Fate. <laughs> Fate. <laughs> I love at first sight. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. he used to come see me at my place all the time. Hey, mm -hmm. Kumbe, nyumbani a mecha nani, baby mama. Uh -huh. Yeah, I actually didn't know he had a child. Mm -hmm. My friends actually told me, have you seen his Instagram? Uh, yeah. I shall post him to talk. Where is your Instagram handle? Where is your Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so I get on Instagram, I see the baby. Then after like a month or weeks, the baby mama starts calling me, texting me on Instagram, leave my husband alone. I tell the guy, hey, do you have a baby mama? He says, yeah, do you live together? No, we broke up. I'm like, why will he tell me to leave the husband alone if you don't live together? Mm -hmm. Later on, I came and realized they used to live together. Yeah, the guy was the one who broke the relationship. Then later, after breaking up with him, he says, I broke his marriage. I was a victim. The girl was also a victim. How do you say I broke your marriage? Hey, I never approached it. you. Oh, to talk about your hug after. Okay, okay. So what we're saying is, what I heard from this side, to cancel out confidence, is, is you want to be seen, you want to be acknowledged. Yeah. When yeah. it comes in form of a question, will you be my girlfriend, or that's also a form of being seen. Yeah. Like, this is my bro, but, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm scared, hashtag, so I'm money. But there's also a side where as much as you're being held your hand, as much as, hey, maybe I'm a child, now I'm a work shift, I'm a child. I'm a child, I'm a child, I'm a child, I'm a child is why in the morning. So, kuna overconfidence and, and trust issues. Now, when you put them together, that does not mean insanity. That's how you start following someone at night. Unenda kumfuata, ama unenda kuwake kupiga nduru. How many times? Uliona yo video, mstana wenyea kipiga nduru kwa. We don't yes. even know what happened, by the way. They yeah. tried explaining it to us, but we still don't know what happened, because how do you, at 4 a.m., Hashtags when money explain to me now they're going to call us insane. They're going to say, Ah, Siana Nishanga to Kwanisu Nisha Kila Siko. Help me understand. 
Uh, for me, uh, I would say that it happens that, for example, the way you said, maybe kuna one shifting in it. If there is, there's no problem. As long as you've given me my full attention, mm -hmm. you've given me the baby girl treatment I deserve, that's a you problem. As long as it doesn't affect me by finding out, because if I find out, it's going to be nice. It's not going to be nice. The fact that, like, the lady that was screaming, personally, I overreact in different ways. Mm -hmm. I will call your phone back and forth. I will text you and be losing my mind. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be a polite message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but for me to show out at looking for you, it can never be me. Mm -hmm. I can't lose my cool that much. Mm -hmm. I can't look for you, do your thing. I also go out and do my thing. See, now kunapo ka 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 effect. Now that you've heard me, that I, now I will. Oh, so le kona ta in the utani chesa. You even do like this. Ata ni kusho. Chesa tu wa tapia ni ni kusho vinyata ni mina zatiza i. There's not very much healthiness in that mm -hmm. is there and how how do we recognize we're in a toxic situation it may be lens of but now it's become toxic how do we tunajita mkutano tunajiambia nini oh in a toxic setup you just say this man is not worth my time my vibe my energy that i radiate to him and i'm like baby girl you're pretty hmm. I get it now. But what happens when if the lady is the toxic one? What if one day you realize, Haya, maybe ni mimi. But then again, one man's meat is another one's poison. So kind toxic now moja. To break up, to go to Mungina, to take a because you know people don't want to be alone. Mm -hmm. But you know, for a lady to be toxic, the man has to, you know, being put in a position. The lady has to be toxic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Insane, bo. for real, oh. for real, personally, Watu it's true. Nita meza jik ukini acha. Nini ni sasa. Oh yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> don't you show the eyes. You want to go now because I also want to go. How? How? How to do? Those are ladies who are um, what do we call them? Hopeless romantic. They feel like if you yes, leave romantic, me. Romantic, see, I like long walks on the beach. No, like they really, really want the love. They don't want you to go. Ah, mm kukwambia -hmm. ukienda nta mezajik. They feel like ukienda. I won't find someone else, or that's obsession. Mm -hmm. They're obsessed with you. And obsession is a very, very bad thing. Obsession kills, actually. Because what will you do if they're not there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because we were born in each other. Well, if you want some, something to be obsessed with, be obsessed with the Lord. He won't leave you. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So, uh, managing, okay, that's a niguze expectations to keep double. So, another thing I heard on the conversation was lowering your expectations. But it's only come allowing my expectations and lowering my standards are the same thing. Do you think mm. they're the same thing? And why? No. Mm -hmm. So what do you think the difference is? Uh, lowering my standards is like accepting things because mm -hmm. that is what you want me to accept. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is not what I want. So I'll be lowering my standard because I have to fit in for mm -hmm. you and not me. Because mm -hmm. I'll be another person that is not Barbara. And uh, learning my expectation is that you've showed me the real you, so henceforth from today, I'll treat you in a different way because what you gave me, I have to give you that twice mm -hmm. even. Well, well, <laughs> you are a force to be reckoned with. Oh, Takangi <laughs> Makasiri. Tell me what you think the difference is. Learning your standards is um, accepting what the man gives you and learning like, your expectations. Kuna mimi liko inasema hapo kwa expectations in a relationship zikuwe chini. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Sasa hapo yeah. kwa tuseme you expected him to be so loyal then he ended up cheating because you had had high expectations on him mm -hmm. that he will be so loyal but he disappointed you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he lowered your expectations. Oh, eh, by force, by yeah. mm -hmm. I, I, I wanted to believe like expectations ni for example, I have a certain standard if whether I like yeah. it or not, mm -hmm. like, don't lie to me. 
Misioni haja kundanganya because nda kasirika tu mbele si ni kasirike tu sai I I like it like that but peer expectations ni eh by the way washinanga kiambia na ukweli so to compromise ni nianze ni kujua okay acha niambia ukweli ama nianze kuona venye kidanganya ana starter ama mm. machomoji na blink sana <laughs> it is, i don't know i really there are a lot of things going on here and we're about to the time Okay, so managing disappointments. We've been told they're, they're not so much these that in in HIV, things that don't move static. Yeah, they're not static, but these are the things that you look or you will see coming out. So, eh, mechezwa, ama mechezwa, nsawa. So now you're going to denial. Mimi, ana mechezwa. Mi, what happened? Mimi. Imagine you just want to go to TV, you want to pay an advice. Na fair this day, please. Yeah. So, what are you doing now? Uh, let's say I'm in the and uh, right now I'm, I'm like so done and I'm so disappointed in you because I didn't expect it that much because. I usually have a benefit of doubts. You mm. look, I don't give you a hundred percent. I know you'll do it. You'll go out there and f you'll do it. So I, I'll be disappointed. But I'll ask myself, who you mm. like, is even worthy? You could chaser like, bro. So soon I Actually, actually, I would like to say Munya and Chesa and like, who you? <laughs> Do you know who, who I am? Do you know who I am? <laughs> How would you advise someone to deal with denial? I'm sure it would chance or just just admit, accept, and then we'll figure it out after that. How do you lovingly tell someone? red flag match a qua flag, Sasa. I am one person who doesn't filter something. If I feel like your relationship is such a scam, I will tell you. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you to go on all dates. Yeah, leave the man alone. Mm -hmm. Men, 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 he will come back actually. Mm -hmm. Because utakuapo umelia the whole night. It's okay to cry. Mm -hmm. Cry it all out. Lia mm yote -hmm. But then you'll be so happy after you've moved on and the man is still coming back. Utakuna mwana, ah, so na nyambia ni nisai. I'm okay. I'm much better right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First stage is acceptance. Mm -hmm. Accept. Very smart. Yeah. I then deny you, okay, you may deny, you may deny, and you may have any chance, also, to me, same, too, well, you may know, Miss Cam, to a pat a brass, doing an inia, and some other banger can get TikTok. It's the audacity, it's the audacity for me. <laughs> All right, so you've accepted. Now you're angry. Mm -hmm. Sasa, if you ever even bought him tissue, the world will know. Onata kuona vitu. Onata ni memjenga mali ya mitoka. Onata sijui ya kuona nina nini. Mimi ndio ni memsidi. Kuna juanga. Ata, ata, ata timing ya ni memba ya mayai bro. Hata kulangi. Hata nga food. Eh, the, oh, angry all over the place. You want everyone to know he's a horrible human being. Eh, and hey, jamanini. They will hear. Windikni. Parasitas <laughs> manganini. But eh, they will know. How do you help your friend get over that anger? Uh, my friends, I'll say, they've really helped me. The fact that at any point I have my issue, I run to my besties and I'm like, ladies, you know, this is what happened. They're like, bro, mm -hmm. why are you accepting that? Mm -hmm. That is not you. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing that? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, so at the moment, I'll tell my, my ladies will be like, we are done and dusted and the history is back and forth to the chokan aisle. So in that tenor, umizwe you'll just come back and cry again. Because mm -hmm. me I'm a cry baby. Mm -hmm. You don't do anything. I'll go cry for my ladies. So one also needs a hug after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they they really talking to people about how you feel mm -hmm. is such a relief experience because yeah. mm -hmm. they'll sympathize with you, they'll tell you what to do and um, besides that you can do activities be busy let him be see must mm -hmm. see a dose like you it's an essential you should have a relation no, it's not mm -hmm. get yourself busy do activities there's so much to do you can go for shooting range you can go bowling you can go out 
take a walk, mm -hmm. do anything, mm -hmm. be busy. Actually, men don't like ladies who are not busy. Shinao kim text, nikamu na kazi ya kufanya. What if mini customer care? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now we, we go to the bargaining stage and, and I, I don't know if you've ever felt like this, but if I'm not wrong, I think I've, I've found myself, I could fika at nudism too, but I found myself asking myself, eh, I, ama ni mimi uwa spikanyo, ama na kukanga pila onjiri. Ama ni meka waru mingi kwa food, ndio ananifanya hivi, shwali. Hmm? What is it that I can do to make this work? And what if there's nothing you can do to me? Ya yeah, asha muata, ata hamu kwa muak, hii ni kwa kupita pita tu. So now, what do you do with yourself? You accept for one. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, personally, don't do wife duties at girlfriend expense. Yeah, yeah. never yes, do that. Record, <laughs> eh? Yeah, mm -hmm. do not. Akisema, it's not working, it, oh, it's me, it's not you. Kuna msichana mwingine. Hakuna angachi, it's not you, it's me. Mm -hmm. There's definitely another girl. Mm -hmm. And you have to accept. If you're my friend, Nukuji was a current, I will help you. Kumtusi. Mm -hmm. And actually, ukiwa kwa your stage. Ata nilijua tu. Eh. Hey. Yeyotu alikuwa na kuangalia. Ata kwa sarana. Ata kwa na kavizuri. Ah. <laughs> 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 alikuwa na nuka. Uuu, <laughs> dasho, guy. Hey. Hey. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. And during mm -hmm. that period, usika peke yako. Be with friends, actually. Mm -hmm. Be with your friends because if you stay alone, you'll feel so depressed, you'll feel so lonely, you'll feel so unwanted. Mm -hmm. Be with friends, engage in activities like she said. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. A word of caution to that tale not everyone who listens to you is your friend. Are we yeah. together? Sure. And not everyone who is asking you, How are you? Mm. No, they, they're not always concerned, they could just be curious. Yeah. I don't mean to go get naval. I imagine she can't keep a man. I don't know who she is. She miss Jenny Kani. I don't know. Eh, eh. Be careful who you're telling your things to. Yeah. And then now she mentioned something, and I really like that she brought this up because it is that month that we are having awareness on mental health. So if you're just joining us, we are about to wrap this up. Apparently, time flies when you're having fantastic conversation with wonderful people. But we have been, we moved from inauguration experience and, and what we took from that to taking the topic and mixing it with what happened just previously with Stephanie Ayeta, where they were talking about basically mental health and dealing with disappointment. So we've gone through a couple of things where you, you have uh, denial, you get into anger, uh -huh, but gaining, and now we've reached a place, let's say you're depressed. Hi. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> I'll never find love again. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know what's wrong with me. Kito gato uende kwa stana ingine ndo uomba notes. Eh, how do you keep up? So, munafaa kufanya hivi three times a week. Unafaa kumpikia uji ya sibuwe na usiku. What, massage, massage. Ushai wana, uu mwenye na massage. Iwa nako kakitu venye usiki anga mautamo. Maybe that's what you, no. Okay, so now, how do you get yourself out of that rut, out of that sadness? Because, like, again, it's, it's very normal to be sad. It is okay. But you can't stay there. It's not healthy. So how do we move from that stage? Do you know the kind of feeling you feel? Mtu mwenye likuwa na kustress. Unamuona nato ufeel kitu. Yeah. Do you know when you get to slap? Happiness. Hati ya likuwa na kupati ya hati brick. Sayata unamuangale unasahau. Haya. <laughs> Imagine that, yeah, you could use slap, Nani. Nana slap fiti. But how do we get now from the lowest of the lows now to get all the way there? How do we, and we've talked about yes, keeping yourself busy, keeping yourself engaged, but you can be busy and busy, but you're not sleeping at night. You can't be with yourself and your own thoughts. How do we get through that? Uh, talking like I've been there, I've been uh, through mental issues. It was at stake, but but, hmm. but uh, through the journey, uh, I would see a lot in the social media, and I'm like, it's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is getting worse. <laughs> now, what I had to do is I had to accept the fact that I'm not well. Even at that time, opening up to my friends was mm -hmm. not working because I felt like I'm losing it all mm -hmm. at that moment. So I decided to accept the fact that situation. Mm -hmm. Number two, what I had to do was like sit down, take a break, relax. But at the same, uh, at the same time, it was not making sense. It never makes sense when you're mentally at stake. Mm -hmm. Everything is going uh, 
haywire and uh, you don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So I decided to take a break. I stopped overthinking because that was something that was killing me. I, and I say that I can't harm myself because of this and that mm -hmm. and the fact that things happen and uh, actually I'm in a better situation mm -hmm. because I listen to some stories of people I'm like or not cop. Mm -hmm. So I said that I'm gonna take a break. As, during that break, I learned to journal and let out my feelings there. I knew that uh, journaling is such a stress relief. I used to wake up in the morning, I downloaded an app called Liam. Mm -hmm. I affirmed myself every morning, I am beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, if you don't say it to yourself, you expect him to mingin a kujua kumbi. It must start with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have found myself every morning. I'm beautiful. I am God's chosen child. Such mm -hmm. things, I'll, they will make my day brighter. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, after acknowledging that, I had to go back to the drawing book mm -hmm. and put... I don't have... For me, I used not to have boundaries with people. Mm -hmm. I decided to put boundaries with people. Mm -hmm. I said, you can cross my limits, but here, you get here, um, mm -hmm. it's all going to be nice. So you set boundaries with people mm -hmm. and uh, you're going to learn how to deal with people mm -hmm. so that, you know, people don't know how they make you feel and they do it at their own beneficiaries, mm -hmm. yet it's at, at your own cost. I, I also wanted to go for a mental counseling and I said you know what girl it's not necessary mm -hmm. you don't need that mental torture of yourself mm -hmm. and go to someone you want to listen to them it's gonna be a back and forth treatment oh you know this uh, you'll be crying over there I said you know what mm -hmm. dust off yourself you can do it you will do it and there's no in between mm -hmm. you either do it or you do it. Or you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And two key things that have stood out for me is journaling. That's that's a kind of form of therapy. So if you cannot talk to someone, imagine see must just write write it down. It's very therapeutic. Kwanza, when you see yourself outgrow pain, the, the people think grief is like this and then it shrinks. No, it's it's us. We grow in capacity. The grief remains the same size. We're the ones who grow. Now to Kimalizia. There is a tendency when we're sad to blame ourselves. And we've gone through the overconfidence, we've gone through the trusting someone too much. But what if, honestly, Olipite process with all intention pure, mm, you, you measured yourself out because I'm to see, let me be realistic. And you still ended up disappointed. So, how do you talk yourself out of that? One, tell yourself you gave it your all. You were there, kouzuri. But he did you dirty. Nisawa, you'll have to like accept and tell yourself it's okay, it will be fine. You are then the relationship, but haiku and bizuri. Pick yourself up. Get utembe, head high, mm -hmm. and tell yourself, there's no other katunge. It's only me, no one else. Mm -hmm. And I am so pretty, I am so beautiful, nobody can be me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, I really like that. Now, as we draw to a close, this. I think it was Saturday. It was International Mental Health Day, Suicide Prevention, something. But either way, this whole month is dedicated to awareness on mental health. And apparently suicide is, is one of the top easy diseases that you know are fatal. So mm -hmm. we, okay, I don't want to name anything, but suicide is actually quite up there with, with the youth. So Nick, I don't know when we started feeling like, eh, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. So the problem you're facing, there's someone who faced it and, and somehow got through it. But I, I want to imagine this, that there's like a sadness somewhere or that, that feeling that we just can't go past this moment. And I and don't know, it's spreading like wildfire. But what would you like to tell someone who maybe perhaps is in a, in a situation? It doesn't matter if it's about relationship. And it, not every relationship is boy-girl, like I said. It could be your friend. It could be your family members. It could be a whole lot of things. It could be your job. It could be something you lost, someone you lost. How do you tell someone to hey, keep in check? Nani? You're, yes, you, you might be very financially stable, 
congratulations, but your mental health is a little bit. How do we make sure we keep it in check? I can tell them you will be fine, you're awesome, you're amazing, and you're loved. Yeah. Succinct. Uh huh. Uh, anybody out there dealing with mental health issues, I'll tell you uh, that look at the people around you, importantly your mom. Your mom is a world to everyone. It is a safe place. Imagine how your mom would feel when you commit suicide. Don't, because mothers are there for us. They might not be having time to talk us through some matters, but you love that lady. Mm -hmm. So just come to Akisema, unless there's something, uh, people love their mothers. Imagine the turmoil you can pass through that lady. You can check a lot of things. You can foresee the future that you want. Imagine taking out your life without achieving those goals. So I want to tell you, be that person that you've always aspired to. If you wanted to see uh, Barbara is an economist and uh, you're going to take out her life, imagine, if not a accomplished your goals it doesn't make sense mm -hmm. at all when you want to commit suicide because sina maoni yake una maoni kwa sasa kwa sasa sina all right thank you so very much ladies uh, we, we have literally run out of time and some but thank you so very much for coming through and i mean when maliza na kuambia nini yes like yeah, you're very much loved. Anything that is born has to die. You must. Don't do it for yourself. Just leave it, okay? Something that you can't control is what people say about you. You can't control the circumstances around you, but you can control how you talk to yourself and how you manage your stress levels as they come, all right? So you are loved. Don't, why are you running? Why are you running? Don't go. Stay, okay? We still need you. There's still so much love to be experienced in this here world, okay? At Twi5 on Facebook, Quite 5 4 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is when the morning. Myself and Stefania Ayeta. Thank you so much for your content, by the way. Who <laughs> missed idea, this girl child? Thank you. We thank you and happy hump day. And we're looking forward to Kunavitu Stendelea Leo, but we'll see that. <laughs> <laughs> Just look over there and say bye. 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 bye.